Hi, so in today's video I'm going to show you another free font that's available from fontbundles.net. The address is here in the top left. This is not a paid or sponsored video, it's just I get email notification each week when they post their new free fonts. So if you go to fontbundles.net and go over here to free fonts, and then scroll down, you will see all the current free fonts that are available. And the font that I want to show you today is this one here called Love Moon. All that you need to do is select it, download and install it as you would any other font on your computer. And then I want to show you how you can use the glyphs that are included within this font. So if I go to the Brother Scan and Cut Type Converter because I've already installed this font and I scroll through my list and select this font called Love Moon. And if I just type Happy Christmas with a capital H and then a capital C And I'll do a preview and this is how the font looks and I'll save that and I'm just going to call it one and put it on my desktop because I'm going to show you some of the hidden glyphs within this font. Now I'm going to get rid of that, I'm going to leave this open for now. Now I'm going to go to the font book on my Mac which allows me to look at all the fonts and characters. You'll probably have something similar on Windows but this is just, I use a Mac so this is all I can show you how to look for. So I'm going to open font book which I have in a folder. If you don't know where it is on your Mac, go to the magnifying glass which is in the top right hand corner of your screen and type in font book and it will tell you that it's in the applications and then just go and open it. So I'm going to go and find this font and if you look at this it's called Love Moon Regular and there's all these letters here with different characters above them and then you scroll down and you start to get into some of these more decorative fonts. Now when I hover over this A here, it tells me it's Glyph 157 with the Unicode EO19. And there's a lot of fonts that are like this. Here's another one. When you press the, so I, I typed an H, but it didn't come out like this H here and I typed a C and it didn't come up like this C here. So there are ordinary font letters within this font but there are all these things called glyphs. So if I just go back and I'll find a decorative letter H. So here's one. So I'm going to put the Brother Scan and Cut Type Converter here. If I now click and drag, I can drag it into the font converter. Then I can just left click next to that letter H. I'm still in this Love Moon. So if I now just type APP on my keyboard and then select this letter Y and again once it's turned blue left click and drag I can drop it in there and then left click to select again I'm going to leave a space and then I'm going to go and find a nice letter C here's one so I'm going to left click to select it while I'm in the font and then I'm going to click and drag and drop it into the 
scan and cup type converter, left click to put the cursor after the C and then type the rest of my letters just using the keys on my keyboard. And then I want a nice letter S. Now there's a few S's. There's this one here and there's this one which I like. So I'm going to again left click to select it within the font book then left click and drag it and drop it into the font converter. Now I'm going to close down the font book and there are all the letters in the Brother Scan and Cut font converter and I'm going to click save and I'm just going to call this one two and put it on the desk. Now I'm going to close the font converter and I'm going to open a new blank page in Scan and Cut Canvas. I'm going to come to the SVG icon I'm going to navigate to my desktop and find these two files I've just saved from within Brother Scan and Cut Font Converter. So there's number one. I'm going to say choose and OK. I'm just going to select it and drag it down because I want to open the other one and it will bring it in on the top left hand corner. So again, SVG, choose file go to number two, say OK and here is the one with all the glyph characters. So this is Happy Christmas written just in the basic Love Moon font using the regular keys on the keyboard but this is Happy Christmas using the extra glyphs that are included. Now obviously when you bring fonts into canvas from the converter they're all individual letters. So the first thing I'm going to do is just select this lot and group it and just make it smaller and move it out of the way. Now I'm going to select the word Christmas and right click and group and then I'm going to select the letter Y in the happy and I'm just going to bring it down to line the bottom edges up with these P's here. Once I'm happy I've got that all aligned again I can group them. So from here now you can use these any way you choose. You can group them all together, make them bigger or smaller, just going to ungroup them. What I would say is just check that as with any font that you bring in through the converter, if you're going to weld the letters, check that the middles are all punched out. So if I look at this word happy while it's all grouped and come to the properties and fill it with black, you'll see that the centres of these swirls and letters are all filled in. And if you're just going to cut the word or draw the word, that's okay because the middles are still there. When you remove the fill, you'll see they're all still there. But if you wanted to weld these letters, as I've shown you previously, you've got to punch all these middle bits out separately. So I'm going to fill it with colour, just so you can see it better on the screen. I'm going to right click and ungroup it, and then I'm going to choose each part and do edit, subtract. So I've chosen the H and I'm going to go to edit, subtract and that's punch those sections out of there and I'm just going to do the same with each letter. I've shown you how to do this in previous font videos. As I say you don't need to do this if you're going to just cut it or draw it but if you wanted to weld all these letters together you need to do this and you need to do it with both words. So again, if I wanted to do the Christmas to weld it, I would have to do the same. So you have to ungroup it, 
choose each letter and go edit, subtract. Only on the letters that are coloured in with a solid black area. Some of the letters you don't need to do it. So this one's all okay now. So again, I would select that and group it. And I'll just group that one. So I'll delete that one because I'm not going to use it. And then you would just save this within your projects. Give it a name, save it and download it. And that will work with any glyph. So any font that you have installed on your computer that has these special glyph characters, you can drag them into the Brother Scan and Cut Converter and then you can use them directly on your machine or open them in Canvas and manipulate them or weld them, make them bigger, make them smaller, do whatever you want. If you want to know about the Brother Scan and Cut Converter, which I used here, if you go to my YouTube channel, Apple Lover 53, and go to the playlists and go to the fonts playlist, it will tell you there are 17 videos in here, all to do with fonts. And if you scroll down, you will find all the fonts relating to how to install the font converter, how to make a font file, Anything to do with the font converter is in here. I have used previous fonts or font bundles from this site before and they're in here as well. So I'll just go back to Canvas. I hope you found the video helpful. Please give the video a thumbs up if you did. Don't forget to subscribe if you don't already do so. And I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.